Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How-To, and it's absolutely freezing. So let's sort it out with a little bit of help from IFTTT and Hive Home Heating. Keep watching to find out more. Okay, so welcome back. Uh, now we're gonna take a look at some more serious stuff, hence why I've got the glasses on, because this is science, everybody. Well, it's not really, it's just putting things together. But that's how IFTTT works. So what we're gonna do is we're going to create a new applet to allow my voice to control the Google Home Mini to tell Hive to boost the heating. Because at the moment, you can tell Hive to turn the heating up, turn it down, set a specific temperature, turn a the thermostat on or off, that kind of thing. But one of the biggest features of the Hive Home Heating System is the boost feature, which is really handy. But at the moment, for some reason, there isn't a way of doing it directly from the voice commands. So we have to do a little bit of homebrew and cook one up ourselves. So if you look at what I've got on the screen, here are my applets. Now we've got some applets we did before for the super chat messages, etc. So ignore those, but the ones we want are these ones that have got the Google Home Assistant icon with them. I've created two new ones. One is to turn the boost on and one is to turn the boost off or set it back to its schedule. So let's look at the one at turning the boost on first because that's the more important one. Uh, this was a message actually that I got from one of the subscribers. It was from uh, Mark Newman. So if you're watching Mark, this is for you and probably a few other people as well. So let's look at the thing. Now, first of all, if you haven't got an IFTTT account set up, Obviously you need to go ahead and do that. It's easy to do, you can set up with a Facebook account, a Google account, all those kinds of things, or just a regular email address if you so wish. But get that set up first of all, that's really important to do. So in IFTTP, sorry, IFTTT, let's go into my applets and the individual applet. So this is what I've basically configured it to do. So if you say boost the heating, then boost receiver one, heating to 22 degrees C for one hour. So that's pretty straightforward. So let's look at the settings and see how that was actually done. So when I was creating the applet, basically you set it for Google Home and say a simple phrase. And the phrases are either boost the heating, it's freezing, or I'm cold. And the assistant's response will generally be, if the command has been accepted, will be, okay, I'll boost the heating. When it's received that command, it's then linked to Hive to boost heating to receiver number one for 22 degrees for 30 minutes. Now you can configure that to do however you want, be it an hour, six hours, uh, 30 minutes for me is probably gonna be enough. And you can save that. If you're in a home where you've got multiple receivers, so maybe you've got an upstairs receiver, downstairs receiver, as long as it's on your Hive account and the accounts are linked, then you'll be absolutely fine and you can uh, change it however you should wish. So let's go back to my applets. And to counteract the boost, so if you if you say boost the heating and you don't really want it to, I've created another trigger. So this one, if we go into the configuration, it, I will say either I'm hot. So it's basically, again, it's the same thing, a simple phrase. And also I will get a response from Google Home saying, okay, I'll cool things down. And then it will set the room temperatures or the thermostat temperatures to 19 degrees for receiver one. Now I don't have to say that specific command, I'm hot, I'm hot is obviously a useful one, but I've also got turn off boost and turn the heating off. All of which will get the response from Hive via Google Assistant, okay, I'll cool things down. So if you're not entirely sure how that worked or how it works, I'm gonna go now and I'm gonna delete my main boost setting and I'm gonna delete it. So if you go into settings, Scroll to the bottom and let's delete that. So there we go, there's our applet gone. So now I'm gonna go through step by step how to set up that applet. So if you don't quite follow how this all works, this is a completely kind of from start to finish version of it. So first of all, you wanna click on new applet. Now I do apologize if my camera is actually covering that. I can't quite see it because I've only got one monitor. But in the top right hand corner, there is a section that says new applet. Just checking, make sure the other camera is recording. So once you've clicked on new applet, this is how we start off our programming of that applet. So the plus this, and we want to search for a service. So we're going to type Google for, and we want Google Assistant. So click on that, 
and then we have to choose a trigger. Now, I'm, you've got all these different things you can do on there. I'm just going to say a simple phrase. So now you have to say what you want to say. So let's say a simple one, boost the heating. And another way of saying it, um, I'm freezing. Or another way is, it is cold in here. Some of these phrases will work, some of them won't, depending on the pre-baked ones into the Google Assistant. So you may well have to play with these a little bit to get the right phrase for you, but you can play with it. And after you've set this all up, it's not set in stone. You can go into the cogwheel after and change it to how you actually want it. Okay, so now we have to put in what we want the Google Home Assistant to actually repeat back to us once uh, he, she, it has observed the command and is acting on it. So the response, the response I'm going to put in is, okay, I'll boost the heating. Pretty straightforward. And um, we want the language to be English. You can choose whatever you want uh, for a bit of fun. You can maybe set it to German or something, but I'll create the trigger in English. At least that way I've got some way of understanding it. So that's our trigger done. So now we wanna have our that. So this is the reaction. Like they said, every action has an opposite and equal reaction. And we're gonna create that reaction right now. So now we've got to choose our service. So if I type in Hive, and then I can go across to Hive Active Heating, UK and Europe, because obviously I'm in the UK. Um, this does work with our cousins across the pond in the US and Canada. And I'm not too sure where else Hive is actually available, but. These are the only ones available currently. So now we get to choose our action. So this one is pretty straightforward. We've got boost heating already put in there, but you can actually change it to something else if you wanted to. Um, you could set it to do a schedule, a uh, specific temperature, all those kinds of things. The lovely thing about this is IFTTT, you can do what you want to do with it, make it work for you. But I'm going to choose in this instance, boost heating, because that is one of the features I've been really missing. So I've already actually uh, created a link between my Hive account and IFTTT. So if you're getting to this part now, it may well ask you to link your accounts, in which case you need to put in your users' passwords for the accounts, et cetera, et cetera. But you only need to do that once. Once you've done it, that's done. So it asks you which thermostat. If you've only got one thermostat, that's fine. Just choose receiver one and you can set the temperature. Now the boost temperature of seven degrees probably wouldn't be that great unless you're living in an igloo. So let's go ahead and choose 22 degrees. For me, that's a pretty good boost temperature. The ambient temperature in the house is anywhere normally between 18.5 to about 20.5 in the colder months. So just a boost up two degrees, puts the heating on just for a little bit, just to take the chill off. And we'll set the duration for 30 minutes. An hour is probably a bit much. 30 minutes is, is normally enough just to raise the room's temperature. So create an action. And there we go. So now we can review and finish our applet. So if you say boost the heating, then boost receiver one heating to 22 degrees for 30 minutes. Boom, all done. And click on finish. And there we go. We've made a new applet. So if I go back into my applets, you can see now it's in with my other applets that I created earlier. So now we've got the heating boosted. I can take my coat off and my jacket and actually be, feel like a normal human being in my house. Anyway, hopefully this video has been useful for you. Um, if it has, fantastic, give it a like. If there's something you didn't quite get or you'd like me to go over again, either hit me up in the comments section below or join us on our Discord server. And I'd be glad to talk to you and discuss any problems, queries, or anything else you may have. So I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To. And we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.